board. About 284.
done, Lord, that you, your love and your mercy, your grace, Father, your forgiveness, Lord, and again, your son who, who uh, was, was uh, laid on the cross, Father, and raised in the air, Father, and, and uh, Lord, he rose again on the third day and, and just for us. Lord, if it had just been for me, Father, he, you would have done that for me. But Lord, we're just so grateful for it for this opportunity we have to stand and, and, and to to uh, read and preach a, a, a little portion of this word. We just pray that that, that all ears would be attentive and all eyes would be uh, focused on, on your word and, and on what uh, you would have them to do regarding uh, this uh, sermon, Father. We love you. Thank you for all you do for us. In Christ's name we do pray. Amen. Amen. We're uh, first reading, of course, it's Paul's first letter to the church at Corinth, and, it, and it's a and it's pretty pretty long uh, uh, book. But anyway, here at the here toward the end of First Corinthians, it, it uh, uh, he wants to tell us about all the things that the church then and our church now can't expect. Okay. It, 2,000 years old there about, maybe more, maybe less, as far as the writings of this word, but it is, it is as truthful and prevalent today as it was back then when the scroll or the papyrus or however the letter uh, arrived to the church. Right. <laughs> Amen. But behold, well, if he shows us the mystery, then it ain't a mystery no more. Right? Right. You know, he's going to show, show us a mystery that we shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. There's a song written, uh, uh, I think the name of it, We Shall Be Changed. You know, born, uh, born from a mortal to immortality. You know, we're going to go from our, our earthly clothes and, and the body and... Uh, and those that know the Lord and, and are ready to, to, to meet Him face to face when that time comes, either from the grave or for, from the rapture, that we are going to be changed from this mortal man to, to the immortal man. Oh, yeah. the, the, uh, <laughs> you know. the one that we don't have to worry about how our hair looks, uh, how, how we got to go to the heart doctors, the skin cancer doctor, the dermat you know, dermatology, the tooth doctor, all these different places we go. We don't have to worry about keeping up with glasses and dentures, hearing aids. Amen. Amen. Right. Yes. You know, I, you know, there won't be no preaching in heaven. That's right. right. Singing, and shouting, and rejoicing, and worshiping the one that died for us. Yeah. And the one that, that, that gave us all. Yes. So we would have life. Everlasting and more abundantly. We get discouraged sometimes down here on earth as far as uh, the way things go and the way other people are uh, uh, successful, maybe. We, we, you know, we don't want to get covetous or envious or something, but sometimes we just can't help because look at them, look what they do, look at this, and, and, and look what all they got. Well, that's all they got. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. Yeah. You know, Amen. they're out today enjoying what they got. Yeah. That's right. We're here today being grateful for what we have. Amen. Amen. Yeah. My golf club's going to wire out. <laughs> My fishing rod's going to rust up. My line's going to get there riddle and break. The boat, the hull of my boat's going to come off. I'm going to lose my cell phone, not my tackle gear. House may burn down. Car's going to blow up eventually. Yeah. But we have. Amen. Eternal life. Amen. 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 52, again, let's see. Uh, uh, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised uh, incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruption must put on incorruption, and this uh, mortal must uh, put on immortality. Before. So when this corruption uh, has put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Amen. Death is swallowed up in 
pay anything. You got the Lord and Savior in your life. You're as wealthy as you can be. Uh, over in uh, uh, 2 Timothy, chapter 1, I just want to, this, this, this came to me. Uh, I knew that earlier we've been uh, uh, talking and discussing stuff. And, and we say, too, sometimes we'll, uh, in our walk, in our life, we just get bogged down. We get troubled. We get, uh, uh, how am I going to do all this stuff? And which order do I need to do it in? And I'm afraid I'm going to mess up. And we get afraid. It's fear, right? In, in the, over in 2 Timothy, uh, 2 Timothy uh, chapter 1, verse 7, and I've, I've read it several times here later in the past, it says, for God hath not given us the spirit, the spirit of fear. Right. Okay? Well, who else comes to us <laughs> besides, besides God? And the devil, right? Mm -hmm. He's the one who gives us the spirit of fear and, and he's able to freeze us. You know, just almost, almost terrorize us if we don't recognize who it is and what it is that... Uh, that he's the one that's still in fear in our lives and all we got to do is call him the name of the Lord and get that taken away from us. But see, we're reassured here not only just one time, but but from uh, uh, for, for three instances here, it says we're not given the spirit of fear from God, but the spirit of power. Mm -hmm. Amen. The spirit of love and the spirit of a sound mind. Right. Well, if, if we're afraid of stuff that's going on, we're not operating with a sound mind. We're confused. We're afraid. We're afraid to make a move. We're afraid to make a motion. We're uh, we're kind of uh, confused in a way, you know. But God's told us here that it's of a, a, a power and a blood, Woo. <laughs> and a sound man. Amen. You know, some, sometimes we can be accused of being a little off, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, but. Uh, but in the verse eight there says, "Be be not thou be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord." And then uh, of course, uh, Paul right here, "Nor of uh, me his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel, according to the power of God who hath saved us and called us with a holy calling, a holy calling." Not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began, but is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ who has abolished death and hath brought life and immortality to light through the gospel, whereunto I am appointed preacher and an apostle and a teacher of the Gentiles. Pretty blunt. <laughs> you know, it's made manifest by the appearing now. It has come to life. It has come to fruition. That made manifest by the appearing of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That he is the way. And he told them over in John uh, uh, 14. You know, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man, no woman, no child, no old person. No man cometh unto the Father but by him. Yeah. Through him. Uh, I guess yesterday morning they were talking about it in the prayer breakfast about uh, this was the only way. You know, you couldn't go through the Pope, you couldn't go through uh, uh, the uh, uh, Muhammad, you couldn't go through Buddha, you couldn't go through all these folks, you know. And, you know, the only, you know, the only prophet I perceive that that would be a prophet. The only prophet that folks are talking about, the only Savior that I have, is not in the grave no more. Right. Nobody else can claim that. Right. But uh, verse twelve says, uh, "For I, for the which cause I also suffer these things, nevertheless." I am not ashamed. 
For I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able right, to keep that which I have committed unto him that day. Hold fast the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me in faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. That be everything that we do. People we see every day, people we, we talk to on the phone, people we might see at the new food genie over here. Uh, our main uh, goal, our work, to show them the love of Christ through us. And, and you'd be surprised that the, that the people who that will respond. People Christians, like uh, Susan's talking about in the phone call But our <laughs> our uh, uh, our goal here is to do what the Lord would have us to do. Early, earlier today, uh, y'all might y'all might get mad at me, but uh, it's a uh, oh, what is it? which one? George Jones, was it? Or, or, yeah. But anyway, he wrote songs about the choices they made. And I kind of twisted it around a little bit. But, uh, I've had choices since the day that I was born. I've heard voices that taught me right from wrong. But I'm glad I listened to what Jesus had to say. Because I'm living, not that, by the choice that I drawing of, You can make that choice tonight too. You can reaffirm that choice tonight. As well, you can you can uh, dedicate yourself to being more of a more of a uh, uh, a soul winner type, more of a whatever God would have you to do. Uh, we're growing. I, 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 I pray for this church every day, and, and I feel that uh, uh, He has a job for us to do. He has a vision for us. He He wants us to to uh, be bold. Sarah, Larry, we don't have to tell uh, Sherry Susan. <laughs> but y'all too, because sometimes you don't feel like it. And that's when we need to do it. Sometimes when we, we say, I don't think so. But uh, if we're going to come and uh, play for a little bit, we'll stand and uh, give you an opportunity to come and pray. Pray where you're at. You know, just remembering that, that not only through the remainder of that evening, Tonight, tomorrow, but, but what is God calling for you? Can we say? We sometimes forget the little things we'll call uh, uh, the, the, big, the big jobs that are teaching and, and, and preaching and singing and then the background stuff that only gets noticed when it's not there. You know, and, uh, but we just pray for it. Pray for our church. Father of the Lord, we love you. We just thank you for uh, your blessings, Father, for your grace, for your mercy. Father, we just uh, pray for our church here, Lord, for each member. Lord, for, uh, for your grace. Lord, just for being real to us, Father. We just pray that we'd be found doing your will. We pray that we'd be found, uh, not uh, uh, wasting time and uh, just uh, vain and idle chat, Lord, that, uh, that you, would, you would allow us to be bold and give us those opportunities, Father, to, to uh, uh, testify about you and to, uh, uh, to smile and be able to reach others, Lord, with, with you uh, leading us and directing us, Father. Lord, right now that you just go with us. Lord, if there's someone here that needs to come and to uh, uh, just pray. Lord, someone just come, wants to come and to praise you. 
Lord, uh, we just pray that the uh, Lord is the wouldn't be any hindrances, Lord, that uh, we'd, be, we'd be free. Lord, we just, uh, uh, Lord, just love one another. Just go with us now, please. Father, we love you. In Christ's name.